Hi everybody, Zeev Simon here, the creator of Surgical Master, the surgical training for dentists. So welcome to Instant Replay, which is a type of lecture that I record shortly after I perform a procedure, uh, where I give you an immediate surgical re recap, I give you some uh, tips and tricks, and also discuss some of the lessons that I've learned from the case. So, um, so basically it's an instant replay. Uh, in this instant replay, I'm going to talk about a broken root tip that uh, happens, uh, you know, every once in a while when you're performing a complicated surgical extraction. So what is the thought process that you need to consider when this happens? And uh, I call this also remember your roots. We need to remember what to do with those roots when they break. And um, the first thing is really to identify some of the risks uh, prior to the procedure. And very commonly, when you're looking at very thin roots and curved roots, they can break during the procedure and we need to warn the patients about them that uh, it may take a little bit longer, we may need to uh, make a special effort to re retrieve those broken roots. So um, I try to identify it uh, prior to the, uh, the extraction process. Now this extraction we know is going to be um, slightly more difficult, there's not too much tooth structure to work on, and we will definitely need to split all three roots and remove each one separately, which is the recommended method. Now, as you remove those roots, you may hear a, cr a cracking sound or a fracture sound. Uh, you may feel it, and that's the first hint uh, that you know maybe some root tips were were broken. So, what I, I would encourage you is to look at each root separately, inspect it visually, perhaps with magnification, and also use your finger. Uh, to palpate the root tip and feel if the root tip is round, which it, it usually is. Now, if it's not round, we're probably dealing with a cracked root, and some of them break just in the couple, one or two millimeters um, at the apex, and the visualization and the palpation can help you uh, quite, a, quite a bit, and you're already a step ahead. You already identified that something went uh, not as planned and, and now we need to think what to do with the broken root tip. So look at it, palpate it, visualize it. Uh, and really what is next is to think what to do. What is the thought process when a root tip breaks? So first of all, we confirmed the fracture. We just looked at it, we, we palpated. Uh, I would also recommend anytime this happens, take another periapical radiograph, try to visualize exactly where it broke, at what level, and what is the uh, anatomy around it. So that's really step number two. Is this root tip close to any significant anatomy, like the maxillary sinus floor, or is it close to a nerve or a blood vessel, or anything else close to an adjacent root tip? Uh, is, that, is that pretty close? Because when you go ahead and, and try to retrieve the root tip, will you create damage or potential damage to the anatomy? That's, that's very, very important because this information will help you decide what are the risks and what are the benefits and hopefully you'll, you'll know which one is greater. So not every broken root tip needs to be removed and that's in situations where the actual removal will cause more damage and more problems and, and, and that's not something we would like to do. So when we look at this particular case, I definitely broke the root tip and that's the mesiobuccal root tip. If you look it up close, you can see the signs of the uh, still the gutta percha right in there and that helps. If there's no gutta percha, sometimes the root tip uh, almost gets, uh, you know, so to say lost in the bone trabeculation. So in this, in this situation, we still have got a percha to help us. So there's definitely uh, a root tip that is uh, dislodged, there's no, no doubt about it. Uh, what is the relevant anatomy here? We're looking at the uh, sinus floor, the maxillary sinus floor. It's pretty close, pretty close. There's a little scepter here in the sinus. So we know that potentially, uh, I'm not so concerned with perforation into the sinus because that can be repaired. I'm more concerned that if I get this root tip dislodged into the sinus, it'll be relatively difficult to uh, retrieve. So uh, really, 
if you're going to uh, attempt it, you need to be quite certain that you're not going to push it into the sinus. So the risk, again, the risk is to dislodge the root into the sinus. And the benefit is, you know, we're removing the root. And, of course, this is a potential implant site. If there's a root left behind, uh, that creates a problem in that regard. So, really, I'm not the one to tell you what decision to make. You need to value the risks. You need to value the benefits. You need to know your um, surgical expertise, your surgical skills, and also your surgical limitations. And then you are the surgeon. You will make the decision for the patient. And if you make a decision to, to leave the root behind because of uh, potential damage, that, that is something that you need to document, explain this to the patient, and have a good rationale. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've done this many times because the goal is to do good by patients, not to create more damage. And for whatever reason, a root broke, which is not your fault. Uh, then uh, you're the surgeon, you make the decision what's best uh, for the patient. In this particular case, I felt very comfortable uh, creating a little channel around the root tip with uh, a long straight burr, and with very small um, instruments, I was able to retrieve the root tip uh, completely, and I, I don't really need to take another periapical to confirm that because I can, again, look at the root tip, I can also palpate it, and I know that I removed it all, and uh, this case was uh, concluded very uh, successfully. So definitely when you have a root tip breaking on you, uh, first of all, the most important thing is recognize it, understand what happened, and um, remember your roots. You know, fi Find out if this is close to a, a, a very important anatomical structure. Is there going to be any type of damage if you'll retrieve the root? Value the risks. Uh, value the benefits, and then, again, you're the surgeon, you make the uh, decision whether you'd like to remove it or leave it behind. So definitely remember your roots. So I hope this uh, quick instant replay was valuable to you when uh, this happens in your practice. So I hope you, you'll find this information important and useful. Uh, if you'd like to hear and see more information about th these types of procedures and more, uh, visit me at surgicalmaster.com and I'm happy to help you in the future.